In this video series, we'll identify the correct statistical test to use in common bivariate statistical testing situations in marketing research, and we'll apply those bivariate tests in Microsoft Excel. Before we proceed, it's important to keep in mind the responsibilities of the marketing analyst when it's time to conduct statistical testing. Importantly, the software you're using won't always save you. First of all, you, the analyst, need to know what statistical tests are appropriate to pick. It doesn't matter if you're using Excel or more advanced statistical software like SPSS or SAS, or even solving these statistical equations by hand. None of this knowledge will help you if you yourself don't know the correct statistical test to use for the analysis you wish to conduct. Many new analysts get stuck on statistical testing before they even begin. They don't know what to use, so they're a bit aimless in their application of the statistical test. So we'll talk about how to solve this problem in this video series. Next, you need to understand the way the data needs to be structured in order to run the test in the software that you're using. It's very common, in fact almost the norm, that even when you do identify the correct statistical test that you want to use in a given situation, the data file that you're working with isn't perfectly set up yet to actually apply that test in your data set. That means you, once identifying the correct statistical test to use, also need to understand how the data must be prepared in order to apply it in the particular software. So we'll give examples here as well, where it's clear that we do want to use a particular test but we're going to need to modify and prepare the data set so that we actually can apply the test appropriately. This is a major point of failure for new analysts. It's very typical that even when the correct statistical test is identified, new analysts are befuddled when the data set isn't perfectly prepared for them, ready for the analysis. Unfortunately, that partly the fact of just being new to statistical testing, it can be tricky. Also, it can be partly a function of earlier education with statistical training, where data sets or practice data sets used to perform simple statistical uh, testing calculations were already set up in a perfect format. While that might be good for introductory statistical training, that is simply not the way that data is usually presented in the real world. We have to do basic modifications, in most cases, to actually apply these things. Fortunately for us, there's a process that we can use to identify the correct statistical test to use. Again, one of the most common reasons people struggle with statistical testing is they simply don't know which one to pick. There's a variety of options. And even though there's very cool Instagram posts that emphasize that not all those who wander are lost, in the world of statistical testing, that is definitely the case. You're definitely lost if you do not know where you're trying to get to. We're gonna learn how to solve this problem by working through some examples. There's gonna be three different research questions that we're going to work through in this video series and identify the correct statistical test and then apply the correct statistical test to address them. As the first example, we're going to ask if the percent of people who are familiar with pizza port is greater among individuals who spend more than $5 per week on craft beer than those who spend less than $5 per week on craft beer. In our second example, we'll simply ask if on average, are people from San Diego County willing to spend more on stone craft beer than non-San Diego County individuals? This is very similar to example one where we clearly can separate people into two different categories, San Diego County affiliated consumers and those who are not. But the difference here is we're not comparing on percentages between a variable, but rather we're comparing an average. In our third example in this video series, We'll ask if, on average, are people more inclined to select a craft beer over other alcoholic beverages when they're at a bar rather than at a restaurant? This example is definitely different than the previous two. In this case, we're not separating people into different groups. Instead, we have two different questions asked to all of the same people. In each of these three scenarios, and any scenario that you're facing when you're looking to conduct some basic statistical testing and marketing research, we can use the statistical test selection roadmap. This roadmap is classic. It covers most of the basic statistical tests that we will use to cover most applications in marketing research. How we use it is we'll read left to right to figure out which test to use. And the table is going to seem like a lot at first, um, but in reality, it's only a fraction of all the different statistical tests we might use as marketing analysts. However, the few tests that we do utilize fortunately cover an overwhelming majority of the situations we will use for mark as marketing analysts. 
Luckily, these basic statistical tests are also the most common, so if we can master the application of them here, we're off to a great start as marketing analysts. Here's the overall roadmap. I'm not going to talk about this in detail, but I will note that there's a link provided where you can look at this entire uh, roadmap in a PowerPoint slide. I'll focus in the next coming videos on the more simplified version of this worksheet, where we will identify the use of the correct statistical test, those in red. The ones that are bold and in red are the ones that are covered in the upcoming video series. And we'll see how thinking carefully through our research questions and our data set will allow us to solve from left to right. We'll determine the nature of independent variables and the nature of the dependent variables following these little miniature flowcharts to identify the right statistical test to use. This is best mastered through application. So what's coming up next in the next videos is we're going to use this roadmap. In each of the three worked examples, we'll determine the statistical test to use. We'll investigate the data preparation needs required to execute the statistical test in Microsoft Excel. We'll implement the statistical test in Excel. And then we'll interpret the results and report the results. As always, we'll be using the craft beer practice data set. We're going to be commonly switching between Excel and slides. So the application illustrating the actual use in Excel of the statistical testing and game planning for that testing and interpretation. Finally, keep in mind that we are building upon previous videos related to Microsoft Excel and analysis. We're going to have to be able to apply some of the Excel skills we developed in previous videos, mostly data preparation skills, such as using a VLOOKUP, a COUNTIF, or some basic bivariate analysis like setting up pivot tables. If a previous skill used in the upcoming videos is used, we're going to be fast forwarding through the example when we go to Excel. If it moves too fast for you, you can always pause to observe what we're doing, or I encourage you to go back to previous videos to understand how we actually utilize these tools that we developed previously. Okay, marketing researchers and Excel users, let's get going.